Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video I wanted to show you and I wanted to try this new tool developed by another artist. That is pretty like interesting and I think that will be useful when we do compositing. So I wanted to try that tool inside Nuke. This tool is called uh, Depth Anything. It's basically a new gizmo. It just creates like depth maps of like any shot. I'm really happy for this because uh, I have worked with him. Pretty much joined on the same day in one of the studios and we started working together but he's like a really senior. We have the link here and goes to github so there's a zip here and extract usually you go like to c and then you go to users go to user and then yeah it's here this is the gizmo which i created the uh, dispel one so i think we just paste the folder here i think that's pretty much it i'm just going to action vfx let's take like an example footage which has lots of depth you can oh yeah this is good and then this is okay one that's good and let's see if we can actually get like a depth map for this we go to category depth estimation and then depth anything and we just directly take the tool i guess i think it should work directly i guess oh yeah so it's just instant you just plug in and that's it actually creates uh depth information this is like full dress that's actually really really nice i'm not sure how this is working behind you can actually go in and see so it takes in the input and does this thing called asset and what is the expression inside this okay does an alpha okay ensure rgb so it's just confirming and then there's a crop does the color race and then it does a reformat if you want that and then this is the inference so inference is basically it's like a machine learning kind of a node uh we also see this in copycat i, I also have a video about that you can check that cat file which is like i think the machine learning kind of a model all the rgb channels go in and then we get an alpha out this comes from the catry cat file i'm not i'm not really sure like i don't know the details about a cat file or anything but gizmo is what we we bring in inside the new so that's like dot gizmo probably i don't know how he developed this but I, i'm not like that kind of a tech person but it just like brings out all that in the alpha there's like a grade and then there's an input again and then that goes into a st map here that comes as a source for st map and then we plug in the alpha from here which we can use for depth this alpha gets copied to the depth channel and gives the output so is it possible to get like a close-up shot let's try this one yeah that's it we only want him like to be in focus and let's just blur out as the distance goes away yeah so we have the depth here let's take like a cd focus no i'm just gonna use a shuffle here i'll use a copy because this already has the depth i don't want the rgb i want the rgb to be this so i think i can just do depth to depth yeah and then we have the rgb as this so and then i put the defocus after this keep the depth as this and then if we can if we go to focal plane setup is it possible yeah it does work i'm just gonna keep him in focus and then let's say like something like that okay let's see how this looks first it does work it gets blurred out it gets defocused as the distance goes and then it's clear here soften the depth because these edges are like really sharp so i think we can do it this way yeah a little bit or we can even use like a edge blur keeps it a little i we don't want those hard edges here i mean like for the most part this just does work right so that's what we need we can but it does work a lot yeah i mean this is not realistic obviously it's not going to be that shallow you know especially a wide shot like this but we can bring in some you know like something like this okay so we do we do have some controls here so far is zero and near is five so what if we increase this to 10 okay let's say near is one so yeah we can adjust the depth map here so near is one so it's going to be much wider here so oh so near is one basically changes it like this let's say if we want to do like a like a rack focus uh where you know he's uh, he's in focus and then like it should switch there so let's say like 50 he's in focus if we go to focal plane setup animate the focal point it goes to there increase the depth of field there let's bring the focal point like to somewhere here decrease the size logically it's not a correct <laughs> rack focus but i'm just like trying it out yeah something like that the thing is like if you have like a very close-up shot 
uh you're going i mean the camera is going to create like depth of field already by default there is like other tools uh which can actually bring back the sharpness of like you know defocused elements i think there's like a ai tool for that too so if we see here uh this is obviously a shallow and like a close up shot the stuff behind is already like defocused anyway so there's like depth of field already in the camera so if we can bring that to we'll have like full control of you know where where the depth has to be you know we can we can adjust that like throughout the shot let me just create like a copy and then i'm just going to put the thing here so we get the alpha and then probably we can do like a invert or we can just connect it to the invert directly put like a grade and then we do something like that grade something or by depth or something like that so let's say i just want to brighten this up or darken this you know something like that this is a very clear shot you know it's a clear day so let's say if you want to add some kind of a haze or like get like not white but kind of a grayish tone pre melted so we get this and we can just put that on top of it's too too much but we can obviously go and uh, reduce this so something like that we can we can definitely do that more for just in the background i mean i'm i'm just showing like an example but so it's like a really really useful tool creating depth in like a 2d footage where it's already been shot it's been a huge problem in compositing that's pretty much it is very short video this is just a plug and play so you know you don't have to do anything yeah it's a very very simple tool and shout out to rafael uh, to actually you know develop this and uh, you know, it's a really useful one that's pretty much it guys uh, i'll see you guys when at another tool and another video so till then it's money thank you guys bye bye